What's going on everybody? Out here on a small little local lake today. I don't know if y'all are tired of saying that or tired of hearing that, but I'm not tired of saying it quite yet. Hunter had this good idea actually a few months ago where she thought it'd be really interesting to make a video where we went through exactly what all I keep in my boat. Unfortunately, I've been fishing out of my aluminum boat for a while. So with that being said, I can't keep as much stuff in this boat. We're gonna walk through today <clears throat> and kind of show y'all exactly what I keep in my boat, everything that I keep as far as tackle and rods and reels, stuff like that. So let's hop right into it. Number one, we're gonna show y'all the rod compartment. This is what everybody gets excited about. A new shipment of rods, brand new rod, brand new reels, all that type of stuff. I don't care how old you are, you still get a little bit giddy whenever you see all the rods show up. So you can look in there. I've got a ton of rods in there. I probably keep on average five or six 7.3 medium heavies with fluorocarbon, a couple of those with braid. I keep a couple big flipping rods, a frog rod, and then probably four or five cranking rods. And that's kind of the basis of what I have around here. And then if I want to go some, to a lake where I need a punch, I need a 7.9 heavy, I'll bring that. If I'm going somewhere where I need a couple more cranking rods, a couple of spinning rods, anything I need extra, I'll kind of bring that. But for the most part, I keep about 15 or 16, 17 rods that are in that seven foot three medium heavy range, seven six heavy range, stuff like that to get me through the techniques that I like throwing. Cause my style of fishing is kind of uh, less is more. I'll keep one jig, a frog, a swim jig, and a spinner bait or a vibrating jig on the front deck. And I'll fish all day long with, with those four rods and have no problem at all. And then everything, you know, I kind of branch out based on water color and stuff like that. But for the most part, that's what I do. So I keep a lot of rods in here kind of as backups because I don't really have a lot of them out all the time. Let's take a look inside the center storage box. This is where I keep all of my tackle. You can see I've got it configured in there. I've got a lot of tackle stuffed in there. Still have a lot of open space and with these High Waters Creations tackle tags I can really see exactly what I've got in there. But you know I've just got a lot of stuff in there right now. Some of this stuff I'll take out before tournament day or whatever. So I guess we'll just start down here at the bottom. I have a box of treble hooks. You can see this is kind of what I keep in the boat a lot of times. I've got them based on size. You can see I've got eight sixes, fives, fours, and I've got lots of different variations. All of this box right here is, is to get me through a tournament day. Like whenever I get back to the truck, I'll refill it, but I've got enough of my G finesse trebles. I got enough like of my regular long shank round bins, my short shank round bins, all the different sizes. I only want to have two or three different sets in the boat. Cause if I go through more than sets than that in a day, I will once I caught a bunch or broke off a lot and I'll be tired of changing them by then anyways. See what's in this little box. Okay, this is a little box that I keep. It actually has like some chartreuse dye in it. Let me turn this around the other way. Got some chartreuse dye in it, got some super glue in it, got a file, got a marker, black marker, super glue, o-ring tool, a fizz needle for fish, got some rubber bands in there. This just kind of has all that, I guess it'd be a little bit of weird stuff that you don't need all the time whenever you need it there's like no replacement for it. like if, if you don't have super glue and you need it you know then you're gonna be just sol i guess but i like to keep this stuff really close i keep it in this i think this is the 3500 the g box 3500 that's what i keep it in and i keep it just like that real close to my, my other tackle you can see i've got lots of stuff in here let's go through next is this this box right here i keep this little box unlabeled just with kind of stuff that i've been using like today or i've been using you know throughout the last week or something if i just don't have a place for it i don't want to go through and dig out the other box or whatever reason i'll just throw it in there I, maybe i throw it in there to let it dry so i don't put it in another box that's full of a lot of crankbaits and stuff and get those lit and then right here i've got my jerkbait box i actually don't have a ton of jerkbaits i have another jerkbait box at home that i kind of refill this one with but this keeps all like the the basic stuff in here i've got a lot of spro sticks in here i've got some other brands that's just you know the truth of bass fishing you're going to have kind of every brand stuff in here because they're all good in separate situations so i've got jerkbait box keep that in here i will take that out like whenever we go down to florida or something i may just keep a jerkbait in the box and maybe have one extra in here or whatever and i won't you know keep that entire box here because it takes up a, a decent amount of space this is one of my favorite baits to throw. Like I love cranking, I absolutely love it. You see I've got the box absolutely loaded. The Little John, I've got it in here in my square bill box, even though it's not exactly a square bill, but it's really, really close. I've got some other brands and stuff in here too that I have actually honestly gotten away from throwing pr pretty much, point blank. I've gotten away from throwing it. I've got the Fat Papa 55s and then the Little John's in here, but I do keep some of everything in here. Keep this, like, like I said, I don't wanna have 
10 of one color or nothing like that. I want to have just enough to get me through a tournament day or a couple days of tournament fishing and then I can get back to the truck and whatever I need it, I will refill it that night. So I just kind of keep enough to get me through and have a lot of variety. I don't want to have 10 of every color because then I'll need three boxes to fit in here. After that, I keep a mid-depth cranking box in here. And this is not only mid-depth, I also keep some, I guess you'd call them Aruka shads, because that's what they are. They're literally Aruka shads, but lipless crankbaits. I keep those in here. And uh, rock crawlers. I've got some of the MD, the any of the medium diving style baits. I got a lot of that type of stuff in this box. And like I said, this is not something that you're going to need whenever you're fishing every single lake. But I do keep enough of it in here to get me through if I do find that I need it. Now, bladed jig. How could you do without those? That I seems like every single tournament that we have now, there's bladed jigs in the top 10. There's at least one or two or something like that. So I have kept them in these little Ziploc bags that I use to keep my hooks in. Y'all have probably seen that. I've kept them a lot of different ways and I still have not found kind of the best way to do this. But I keep, you know, three or four green pumpkin three eighths, green pumpkin halves, three or four um, white three eighths, white halves, three or four white, you know, black and blues, all that type of stuff. And I've got some weird stuff in here. I've got the fire crawl, even though I haven't caught them on that. I've got, you know, all kinds of different variations of bladed jigs in here. Got some of the ones with the clear blade, whatever. I don't, I didn't really, didn't really catch them too good on that one either, but I do have it. I've got just a lot of variations of stuff in here, but for the most part, I'm only going to use, you know, one or two a day and it's going to be either a half based on the lake i'm going to i know if i need a half or three eighths if i'm going to be throwing this a lot i'll get some more out of the truck that are the three eighths size or the half ounce size or whatever or i'll send miss hunter to the store to get me some whatever we need to make sure i've got them in stock or got them in my boat whenever i do need them now <laughs> let's see this right here this is the one this is the dang frog box right here this is so, all, this is one of many this is one of many frog boxes i do actually have a whole lot of these suckers hold on a second hold on a second hold it wait a minute just, Are you having some juice colors? just wait a second right here okay wait a second all right there's the frog box we got oh, all got kinds of stuff in there it's the spro pink one the spro pink one's the secret mm -hmm. we got a bunch of frogs in there you can see i kind of keep it pretty basic on colors i've got some shad looking stuff right here i've got the all white i've got speck i've got misty shad i got natural and some are all beat up and dinged up and look kind of rough but i'll still throw them at some point we got some of the new ones with the blades and some variations in here and this this box actually i'm i'm going to go through it before i head down to florida i haven't went through this is one of the only boxes that i have not went through yet and got it ready for next year so i'm going to go through this box and kind of get it dialed in before we head to st john's river but that's the new frogs or that's not the new frogs that's all the frogs i keep i need i need to add some more baby powder and What's your favorite Add some color? new frogs. My favorite color is probably, look at this one. This is a pretty one. Amazon. I think it's called Amazon. I'm pretty sure. I hope it's called Amazon because now I've done said it. But it's got some orange on the weight. It's got a lime green mouth. Really cool. I really like this one. I've got some green pumpkins right one, there. The one that we, the new color, the white one in there. Um, what was it? It was white with the blue pattern. Oh, white with blue? Oh, uh, let me see. I don't have it in here. What's it called? It's called um, Glacier. I think it's called. I think it's called. I think it's called Glacier. That's my favorite color. So, we got quite a few frogs in there. Got some of the the new little bitty tiny spros. Are those out yet? Yeah, these those are out. Those are everything. Everything in this box is pretty much available. And you can see in this box, it's almost all spro. Now, I've got like two other brand frogs in here, and I have never even threw them actually. I just keep them in here in case the situation arises. But it is literally spro frogs. All right, from there, go to the jig box. This is something I get super excited throwing these. I just love throwing jigs, and I've got this box absolutely cram packed to the gills. I mean, everything in here is just absolutely, it's full. And I've got black and blues, black and blue. So I keep all my black, I keep like black and blue, green pumpkin, blue gill colors, and then whites. So you see, but I've got it all mixed and matched. I actually, I was waiting on some new jigs to come in from Untamed Tackle, which will be released Monday. So I just got them in today. I got mine in today. So now I can go back through this box and actually load it up with the baits and the jigs that I want to put in here. And I'll probably do that tonight, actually. Get this box completely dialed in for next year because this is the other box that I have not went through. I've not, I have not went through the frogs or the jigs to go to next year because I was still waiting on some stuff. But that's it right there. That's the daggum jigs. 
What's your favorite one in there? Favorite one in there has got to be the Ace, man. The little old Ace jig. Love that sucker. Got a bunch of them in here. Tons of Aces. Bunches and bunches and bunches of them. So, from there we'll go to, I have went through this box. Like, and I purged stuff in this box. Oh my gosh, it's empty. It is literally like almost empty because I went through there and I said, what have I not used in two years? And if I haven't used it in two years, I took it completely out of the box. So I got my tungsten up here. Don't need that much tungsten. Got tungsten up here. Got a lot of gamakatsu hooks. I got my drop shot hooks. I have my wacky rig hooks. I got my big flipping hooks. I got my flipping worm hooks. I've got round bends, super line hooks, then I've got some terminal tackle stuff like little blades and little screw lock stuff like that. I have some untamed tackle bobber stops right there, big shaky heads. I've got all kinds of stuff in here, but I've only got the stuff I need. Like this sucker is absolutely as empty as it's ever been. You can see light through it and you've never been able to do that before. So pretty cool. I really like the way that that turned out. I took everything out that I, like I said, that I haven't used last year or haven't used it in, in a while. So one thing that I did a little bit different this year is this is brand new. This is brand new. I'm still experimenting with this. This this is actually the 13 fishing lunch bug, and I have been experimenting with putting them in containers like this. So I've done this with a lot of soft plastics, just because last year a lot of times throughout the season I would send Hunter to the store and I'd say, hey, I need I need this in this color. Can you go find them? And then I'll get done with the tournament. And I'll dig through here and I'll find two more bags I didn't know I had. So I just wasn't extremely organized last year like that i really wish that i would have been a little more organized so i'm hoping that this will help i really wanted to keep all my soft plastics in the in the kind of boxes but here's some here's some more i really want to keep them all in kind of the bags and stuff but i had to kind of move them around a little bit and i feel like this is going to be a really good application so this is the blunt force finesse worm from 13. obviously i've got some this is called bright as s but it's like a methylate color little red bug, little June bug, but this is actually called Witch's Brew, and I think it's called Red Chili or something like that, Red Hot Chili something, <laughs> I can't remember for sure, but this is the box I'm gonna keep with that. It just keeps them, it really fits perfectly, like these worms actually fit kind of perfectly in here, but you can see I wrote BFF, BFF, Blunt Force Finesse Worms. I've got some box full of other kind of worms, stick worms in here, I've got, you know, some drop shot worms, all that type of stuff, just got it loaded to the brim, kind of with uh, worms that you don't really got to have. And then I've got me a box full of the 13 Fishing Invaders. I'm actually waiting on a couple more colors to come in to fill it out a little bit better, but got all the invaders in here. Got Can fit a ton of them in here. Just kind of a unique way that I'm planning on doing it this year. And then y'all seen before, I keep a lot of creature baits. This is all kinds of different brands of creature baits in here. Just tons and tons of different types that I just kind of experiment with and play with and uh, Keep them in this box like this. It really fits them pretty well in there. And I do the same thing with crawls. You can see lots of different brands in there. Everything's in there. Tons of different stuff. Everything that I put on the back of a jig trailer is pretty much in there. So that's how I keep it. About that many actual crawls. So pretty insane to keep that much. But hey, that's what that's what I do. That's what we do. Let me see what's in this little box right here. Never mind. We ain't gonna look at that. And then I always keep me some extra leader line. Like this is a 10 pound shooter because I've been fishing around here where in, in the winter I actually kind of like to go up size a little bit because I feel like it's not as important to have super thin diameter line in the winter. So I do keep me a, this is a little spro like bag. bag. Yeah, it's a little spro bag. It's a little spro bag that's got uh, some leader line in it. So all kinds of stuff like that. All kinds of goodies. But this, so I've got a, I've got a pretty good bit of tackling here right now. Not like a maximum load, but I've got a pretty good bit of tackling here. So. You, you know, actually have more than you need in there. Right? I've got way more than I need in there. A lot of this will be out before the first tournament. Like a lot of it will be out for sure before St. John's. But that's what we got. That's what I keep in my 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series boat. So that's it. Bunch of frogs. More than you would ever need. Appreciate it, guys. Hope y'all like that. If y'all did like this video, leave a like because Miss Hunter came up with the idea. And if you leave a like and say, thank you, Miss Hunter, we wanted to see this, it'll make her feel good about her decision. So appreciate it, guys. We'll see y'all.